Just got to Lake Fork. Kyle is very excited. Yeah, I'm He's ready run, to go. Running around like a crazy person. Yep. And we have uh, a new addition to the family. This sucker's pretty cool. Can I show it? Let's show you what we got. This is something that is newly released, but now available from Spro. Look at the size of that thing. Big frog. I'm gonna grab my other one. Normal frog, just for reference. Look at that thing. Five or six bites a day on this big sucker. They're gonna be good ones. So, pretty excited about this. Just gotta get out there and get some bites on it. This is, where else than to break in the brand new Poppet Frog 70 than Lake Fork. Very famous fishery. Might be a shad spawn going on. Can go down with this. So what all are you rigging for practice? Um, lots of top waters. Gonna have me a Punisher Swim Jig from Untamed. Gonna have me a Missile 48 to flip around. A, a D-bomb, maybe one more creature bait, buzz bait you know, horny toad, stuff like that. Whatever I feel like I can get a bite on in these conditions, which is a pretty good bit of stuff. What are the conditions? High. Good bit of fish are post-spawn. There's gonna be some spawning, some pre-spawners. There's gonna be a lot of fish up super shallow, so covering water is gonna be the deal. So I really just feel like a lot of shallow water covering water baits. All right, we got everything tied up. We got a lot of shad baits going on. Whenever I come to these lakes, I always make a list of like the baits I want to have tied on so I don't get out there and think I need something else. So I put on a bunch of shad baits, shad vibrating jig, spinner bait, white frog, swim jig, and then decided I want to put on some bluegill color stuff too. So I had to go back and put on a bluegill color swim jig, a bluegill color chatter bait, and all that kind of stuff. So we got just about everything done. I did find a bunch of brush piles whenever I was here last year. So a lot of the fish that are post-spawned that probably spawned out in March or you know even a week or so ago if they'd spawned out, they could be some out there on the brush pile. So I do have about 15 or so brush piles marked. So don't have any rods rigged up to fish 20 feet deep, but we may have to do that on the water if it's not happening shallow. But I'm pretty much committed to this one. I think over half the rods in the rod locker have like 50 or 60 pound X plasma braid on them. So pretty excited for a week of fishing with nothing but braid. So. Ready to get out there anymore? No Look at this. Try to take this out, but Sprout unhooked it up. In the clip right before this, Kyle said he almost had everything organized, but I just wanted to give y'all a tour of the boat. Yeah, it's not organized. I'm just saying most of the stuff is going out of the boat. So what's staying in the boat, we're almost there on. Check it out. Big frog, dude. Big frog. Ready to go throw that sucker around for a minute. Pretty excited about that thing. I got a lot of baits that are white, or at least like half white, like this frog right here. One of my favorite ones. White bottom, a little bit of green in there and stuff, but I'm, I'm anticipating a shad spawn happening today, so. Or this week, maybe not today, because it was it's been cold for a while. So it might have might have stopped it. I haven't even checked the water temp yet, but we'll just see what we run into. April the 19th, Monday. We are on Lake Fork. Bass Match Lee Series starts Thursday. I think it's like the 22nd or something like that. So, gotta find us a dang bass or two for Thursday. I think he's, I think he's just a hair under three pounds. What is it? So it's official. It's a male on bed. It's a good one. I think I'm gonna catch him just so I, just so I can kind of gauge the size of the fish that I'm seeing. Probably the only one that I catch. And a lot of times, you, you know, we're three days before the tournament anyways. Might better catch him again. Might be gone, whatever. So I'm just gonna catch him, see how big he is. So I know kind of what I'm looking at. You don't have to like do this at all, but might as well. It's kind of big, ain't it? <laughs> all right, it's 11 o'clock now. We got out here like 6 20, 6 30 this morning. And we have kind of tested a lot of different things. I did not find much of a shad spawn like I anticipated finding this morning. So we have just went up and kind of looked around for brim beds, bass beds, stuff like that. Found three or four on bed, couple, couple nice ones, no, nothing giant or anything like that. But so now we're gonna run some of these pockets, just see how many are actually up. 
and if there's any more just like cruising around or frog garters or whatever just try to get a really good idea of exactly where we're at as far as the spawn goes and you know move my tournament around that so that's what we're going to do we're going to slow down a little bit and fish some docks and stuff like that and try to get some bites but we're just, just looking kind of for spawning bass like way smaller than i thought Ain't he pretty? Mm -hmm. He's hot to try. What's the deal, dude? I'm talking about. Dunk. Let's see how he reacts to a frog over his head, because I don't really know how these Texas fish. Pretty little fish. Look how that thing got him. He's pretty. Very, very pretty actually, but not quite big enough for what we want this week. Another one. I thought he was bigger than that, honestly. That's why. I, that's why you gotta catch a couple. All right. We have bounced around, made our way to the south end of the lake. Now we've been pretty far up, whatever the left arm is, whenever you're headed up river from the dam. And now we've making our way back down towards the dam. Just, I mean, seeing a bunch of fish, not a lot that I feel like are catchable, not a lot of really big ones. It just doesn't seem like, it feels like I'm missing something. I'm missing some ingredient that I need, whether it be area, location, bait, depth, something. Something I haven't quite figured out, so still pecking around. Lots of them on bed, they're just mostly small. There's like an eight and a six. I mean, a uh, big. We ain't putting no hook in that bed. These are big. Not this one. This is the smallest one down the stretch. And that's a, what is it, two and a half? Mm -hmm. yeah. So there's one in the bed with it. That's a four something. It's a pretty one. And there's one right there that's bigger. And there was one in this bed with this one that was way bigger. All right, so we've been on a lake fort for like, what time is it? We've been here 12 hours so far, and uh, time kind of got away from me. I don't really know. I feel like I haven't covered nearly nearly enough of this lake, but I've been seeing a ton of bed fish, so it hasn't been a terrible day of practice. It's been a pretty good day of practice. About to go throw a big swim bait on some points for a while because the trolling motor is absolutely dead as can be right now. So we got to go slow down a little bit, let the power pole charge, charge it up for a little bit while we run to our next spot, and then be easy with the trolling motor for a while so been a good day though day two of practice lake fork out here today it's always exciting to be fishing lake fork even though i don't have a hook on a lot of my baits still have the opportunity to catch a really really big fish out here so got to find something consistent in the morning we're going to keep the trolling motor on 100 and roll around and try to find an area where i feel like i can get a couple of bites early because I know we're going to be bed fishing for the entire rest of the day. Most of the days of this tournament, so Let's see what we can do. The info is we're taking off the white spro popping frog and we're putting on a new one that is uh, one that Hunter don't really like, but I like, called Diamondback. Did you steal that out of my tech box? No, I got like five of them suckers. Then why'd you take mine? I didn't take yours, I gave it back. I was just joking. So I'm putting on this color called Diamondback. That's my favorite color. Just a brown one. 
orange mouth. Looks kind of bluegilly. Haven't seen very many shad up on the bank or close to the bank, so we're going to put on something a little more bluegilly. See if they'll bite this sucker. So we'll try it. I don't really think frog color matters that much as far as like white to bright white, all that stuff. But I just want something that looks like a bluegill right now because there's so many of them spawning and stuff like that. So put on a brown frog. After catch interview, how do you feel? I feel like he's a little bit bigger than I thought. He's not big by no means, but. Still can't keep him pegged. God, dog. He's peeing like crazy. That was a hard one to catch right there. <laughs> that's fun. Man, that's fun. I just need to be about three times that size in the tournament. So I seen something splashing over here on the water. And then there's two bass that have ate each other. Don't know if I can get close enough to them. I seen them splashing, and I was like, what's going on here? Grab them before they swim away. I'm trying. Little dude was hungry, wasn't he? I've seen a bunch of videos of this. Never seen it, though. Look at the top of his head, how ate up it is from, from his teeth. Scrub it on him. One. And <laughs> then, there he goes. It might be a little disoriented. That was pretty crazy. I pulled up to go in this little pocket and I seen these over here splashing. Like making, you know, there, there he is right there. That's that's the small one that was in the fish's mouth right there swimming, swimming around. I don't know if you can see him or not. But I just seen them over here splashing. And as I got closer, I thought it was a bird at first. As I got closer, I realized there was a bass tail coming up out of the water. And then I seen both the bass together flopping on the bank pretty much jumping. So came over here and grabbed them. So pretty cool though he's swimming down the bank he's a little he's probably gonna be okay over there by that stump now but a little disoriented I thought this was a three and a half. What is that, a six? It's going to be a lot of staring bass right in the face over the next two to three days. Hopefully three days, hopefully four days of looking at them. It's very difficult to find a female on bed, so my, my practice was pretty much spent running around trying to find three and a half plus pound males, and we have got probably 30 of them marked. Don't know how many of them be there. I went back and checked on two or three of them today and they were gone. So might have just found a bunch of new ones, but I do have one that I'm starting on. I would, I'm driving straight to a five pounder that I have on bed that I got I got to bite four times today. And then uh, we're gonna see if we can get them to bite first thing in the morning. And then from there, we'll ride around and try to go catch us a bass or two. So that's all we got. Bed fishing, we're committed to it. That's all we're gonna do. Maybe we'll catch us a bass or two.